why you looking at a nigga like you wanna run one with me? Huh? I got my big gun with me, don't feel like dipping, I feel like shooting. Fuck fool, and I don't like your attitude. You do, you do that, them, them on the rag do. You better watch your mouth while I be in front of your house. When you, when you come out, hold, back. hold another nigga. Snitch, snitch, snitch. Keep looking at a nigga like he gon' tell something. Huh? I'll f round and round and round and round. So your mother sit, you ready? Yo, if this shit get silly, I'm letting it go on front street or in the front seat. You ever come my way? It's gon' be gunplay. And hey, I ride with the AK. So you can be hypnotized and memorized and taken into a galaxy that no nigga has ever been in. Count, you're gonna lift all your muscles. 
for complete the week. Any remaining tension in your body will be released. Feel this wave go over your entire body from the top of your head down to the bottom of your feet right now. All remaining tension has been released from your body. Now, key into this. I want you to wrap your mind around everything that I'm about to say. But as I speak, the temperature is getting colder. It's become the coldest day you can ever imagine. Damn, it's now 60 degrees. 50 degrees. You have no winter clothes on. You begin to notice how cold it is because your teeth are beginning to chatter. You're getting goosebumps on your arms. It is now 32 degrees in Chattanooga. And getting colder and colder. Oh my God. Ooh, it's cold. Blow on the pressure. Blow on your hands. Hug that person. It's getting hypothermia. It's minus zero, minus five degrees. Snuggle up. Get that body heat. Snuggle up to the person next to you. Ooh, it's so cold. Oh my God, it's cold. Ooh, hug that person. It's life or death almost at this point. Oh my goodness, it is so damn cold. And all of this applause is for you. Okay, okay, okay. On the count of three, one, two, three, wide awake, wide awake. Wide awake. What the hell are y'all doing, man? No, no, you up here naked. What the hell is going on? I'm trying to do a show and y'all up here acting a fool. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. 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 Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Well, the temperature's back on. Now your body will warm back up. Now your body will warm back up. Wow, oh, man. Jesus. Like, everybody look at me. Everybody look at me. Everybody say look at me. Everybody say look at me. Just relax. As my hand closed, so your eyes. Okay? As my hand closed, so your eyes. And one, I mean three, two, one, sleep! All the way down. All on the count of three, you're sitting up in your seat playing your favorite instrument. Some of y'all be playing large instruments, some of y'all be playing small instruments, some of y'all be playing drums, bass guitar, horns, violin, whatever your favorite instrument is, you're gonna be playing it, sitting in your seat with your eyes closed to the best of your ability. Now, if I should touch you on your shoulder, that would be your cue to stand up and do your solo because you want to show the Tennessee of Chattanooga just how good you play. A lot of suggestions say yes, as the truth and total reality. Here we go. One, two, three, sitting up in your seat, eyes closed, sitting up in your seat, grab your favorite instrument, and let's turn this damn show out.
America. So why should you be America's next top five? Give it up to your window. That's it, baby. Thank you. 
Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you a movement. You see this movement right here? Yeah. I want you to, at this point, let your hand come back to yourself. Let your hand come back to your shoulder. All right. Now, push it back to me. Push it back. You're, going to, you're not going to feel no pain. Pain is going to be gone. Pain is gone. No pain in this body. Push it back to me. Push it. Push it back to me. Give me that pain. No pain. Let's do the same thing with this one. Let's do the same thing with this one. You're going to have to try a little bit harder for me. You're going to try a little bit harder. All right. Push it to me. Push it to me. Push it to me. Push it. No pain. No pain. No pain. It's no pain. Push it. Push it more. Come on. Straight it all the way out. Come on. I'm going to show you the movement once or twice myself. And then you're going to have to give it back to me from this point forward. All right. Let it come to you. No, no, not that fast. No, no, no. Not that fast. You got to control it. You have to control it. Let it come back to you slowly. Slow, no, 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 no. You pull it. You pull it. Let it come slowly. Now bring it slowly. 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 There you go. You got control of this. You, you're in control. Come on. You're in control. All right. Push it back to me. Push it back. Push it. No pain. It's no pain. No pain, baby. No pain. Push it to me. Push it. Give me a push. Give me a push. Come on. Find this muscle in your mind, this nerve that controls this arm. Push it to me. Push it. Come on. I'm going to show you. Once or twice myself, then you got to take control. No, it's something new you haven't tried in a long time. There you go. Let it go back. Let it go back. Let it go back. Let it go back. All the way to your chest. All the way to your chest. All the way. All the way. Now, push it to me. No pain whatsoever. Comfortable? Relaxing? Relaxing comfortable. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. This time when I say sit up, I want you to sit up on your own. Lean as far, far, far forward as you can. Okay? On the count of three, we're going to lean as far forward as you can. As if you're trying to reach down and tie your shoes. One, two, three. Lean forward. Lean forward. Lean forward. Lean forward. All the way down. All the way down. Relax and perfectly. Now, sit back. Sit all the way back. On your own. Sit all the way back. All the way back. Just relax. Very good. We're going to do it again. This time I want you to lean forward kind of fast. Not too fast, but kind of fast. No pain. We're going to take all the pain out of this body. No pain. On the count of three, lean forward as fast as you can. One, two, three. Lean forward. Lean forward. All the way down. As far as you can. No pain. No pain. No pain. Now, slowly sit back up. Sit back up. Sit back up. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to reach down like I'm trying to grab our toes. I'm going to do it kind of quick. Not too quick, though. Just quick enough to give me a good reaction and get your momentum going forward. One, two, three. Lean forward. Now sit back. Sit back. I'm going to do it again. One, two, three. Lean forward. All the way down. All the way down. Straighten your arm out. And then your arm. Straighten your arm out. Now, come back up. All the way back. Now, this time we're going to lean forward and try to grab with our right hand. Lean forward and try to grab the toes with your right hand. One, two, three. Lean forward. Lean forward. Lean forward. Push it out. Push it out. Now, come back up. Come back up. No pain. No pain. Stop thinking about that. Right? Ain't no pain in your body. That's all psychological. The pain is gone. That's, a, that's in the past. That's no more. Okay. This time, I want you to put both hands up. Put both hands. I want you to reach down with both hands and try to grab your, your toes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Both hands. Both hands. Both hands. Both hands. Reach down. You can do it. Reach down. Reach down. Now, sit back. Sit back. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Relax and perfectly. Concentrate perfectly. You're going to beat this and you're going to be able to do the things you want to do like you always did. And five. Wide awake. Feel an absolute one. How you feel, dog? Feel good. Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing some things, man, that I didn't think you could do. And I don't know if uh, Pierre thought you could do them either. No. You used to know his shock that amazed. Yeah. Look at all crazy. I watch you move your legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I taped it. <laughs> yeah, that's <it. laughs> So, everybody.
Everything's okay? I gave you a lot of things. Now, hypnosis is a very, it has a very rapid pace. You're not going to know when you're hypnosis and you're going to know that you feel something that feels a little bit different. At all times, you're going to be able to hear everything I'm saying. You're going to be able to respond. It's not sleep. It's just an altered state of consciousness where you'll be able to respond to anything and everything I tell you to do. Now, what we're going to do in a minute is I'm going to put your hands like this. Stay your hands like that. In a minute, I'm going to count from five down to one. And then it's going to be five, four, three, two, one. When your hands touch, you're going to immediately drop into a nice relaxed state. You're going to relax all your muscles, nerves, and tissues in your body, and you're going to a nice, deep, relaxed state. Okay? Now, first thing I want to do is take a deep breath in. Three your arms. That's it. I'm going to take your arms. And then on the third one, you're going to close your eyes. Totally, totally relaxed. 
Dream it, just and it. Breathe in, breathe in now. Okay, now then, Andre, now that we've had some fun, let's get to the clinical part of the while we're here today. Two, sleep all the way down. Sleep down all the way down. On the count of three, when you awake, your name will be Walter Lee. One, two, three, by the way. How you feel, man? What's your name? Walter. Walter what? Oh, okay. You sure? Yeah. You positive? Yeah. You're absolutely sure your name is Walter Lee? Yeah. Okay. Um, why are your legs shaking? <laughs> All right, let me ask you this question. You sure you know your name? Yeah. All right. And forget your name. What's your name? Don't you don't know your name? What's your name? And on the count of three, your name will be Rocco Bum. One, two, three. What's your name? Rocco <laughs> You the president of the United States. What's your wife's name? Michelle. Michelle, how many kids you got? Three? Three? <laughs> you got one more? Damn, brother, you can run it in on us, They get the job done. You got one outside of Michelle? Because Michelle, they got two, two girls, I thought. You got another one? Make it your mind, Fred. Is this two? Oh, okay, okay. And on the count of three, your name will be back. Walter, one, two, three. What's your name? Walter. Walter. You sure? Yeah. What position do you play? You sure? Yeah. I don't think so. You know what? You look kind of like an office of God. I mean, you kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch this. And three. All the way down. On the count of three, you're going to be the star in the center for the University of Miami. <laughs> You're going to be the star of the center. You're going to show me your stance. You're going to show me how you fire off on that goddamn nose tackle. And you're going to just demolish it. On the count of three. One, two, three. By the way, what's your name? Walter. What position you play? Center. Center. Show me your stance, goddammit. Show me how you get down in that stance, how you fire off on that motherfucker. Show me what you do. Show me how you do. On the count of three, you're going to One, two, three. Hey! You are Walter Lee, and you are the baddest damn running back in the country. No doubt. No doubt. You will win the Heisman this year if you only beat out your quarterback. One of y'all going to win this motherfucker. On the count of three, you will be back, Walter Lee, knowing your position better than anybody on this team. One, two, three. By the way, how you feel, dog? You good? Yeah, good. What's your name? Walter. What, what position you play? Running back. Oh, wait, no. Have a seat. Have a seat. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely wonderful in each and every way. How we doing on time? We're good. We good? Y'all want to see some more of this book? Oh, yeah. Reach up with the knob that says confidence. Reach up with your right hand right now. Grab the knob that says confidence. Everybody, reach up with your right hand right now. Grab the knob that says confidence. Right now, your confidence level is about a six or a seven. We're going to turn it off for y'all. We're going to turn it up to a ten. Let's start turning it right now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, 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 what you just done is you're taking your confidence level to a 10, sky high. Put your hands down. Funny, put your hands down. That means that nobody can tell you that anything that in this world that you can't do if you want to do it. You feel yourself being reinvigorated. You feel yourself becoming the person that you've been striving to be, but you are there now. You know that if there's a goal, you're going to achieve it. If there's a barrier, you're going to find your way around it, through it, under it, over it, whatever you need to do. Because you know, no matter what it is, to relax. Feel the stress becoming off your mind. Now then, there's another knob on that keyboard. 
I want you to reach up and grab the knob that says memory enhancement. Reach up and grab that knob right now that says memory enhancement. Right now your memory is at about a four or a five. We're going to turn it all the way up to a ten. Let's start turning that knob up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, you just turn your memory all the way up to a ten. Put your hand down. Punch it in like a down. That means there's nothing in this world that ever happened to you, you ever read, heard, saw, thought, or experienced, you can instantly call everything. Not one thing, but everything. From the day that you were born, I can ask you any question about anything, and you will remember it and have, give me that answer immediately without hesitation. Let's see how good these memories are. Everybody else sleep to the general I'm touching right now. I want to take you back to the very first day of the first grade. The day you walked into that school, that elementary school. What's the name of that school? Causey. What were you wearing that day? Okay, and you walk into that classroom, you see the teacher at the chalkboard. What's her name? Miss Dunn. What did Miss Dunn wear? A flower dress. What is she telling y'all you're going to learn in the first day of school? How to read and write. Who that little knucklehead boy that always got you in trouble and kept talking to you when the teacher told you to be quiet? CQ, what is he wearing? Red shirt, khaki jeans, some white shoes. And who's the little girl you had a crush on that always tried to get you tried to get her attention, but she wasn't really paying too much attention? What's her name? Sarah? She black or white? White? What was she wearing that day? A skirt? What color? A how the hair fixed? Huh? Okay, all right. And sleep all the way down. See how easy that is? I can recall every day that he lived in his life, his first birthday all the way through to his last birthday. I can be behind his mind and make him see everything he saw on the way here. If he saw a tag number on the car, it's recorded in your mind. And he can remember and I can pull it back out. By the same token, I can make him forget anything. Meaning he got any stress or problem that he's having in life. Whether it be a past relationship with a girl, whether it be a bad experience as a child. I can erase it out of his time. That will put it back and reset it. So therefore it moves everything forward as if it never happened. If you got any fear of phobia, fear of flying, fear of heights, dogs, snakes, any of those fears, I can correct them. But right now I want them to still feel it. They never want to feel this in their life. And they do everything they can to avoid it. Something's on stage, sleep all the way down. From this day forward, from this day forward, the only fear you're going to have in your life is the fear of losing. You know how bad you felt the last time you lost the game, how the public made you feel, how you felt like you were working and working on the shit? You don't ever want to feel that way again. It makes you angry. It makes you mad. And you're going to do everything you can to avoid feeling that way. That means you have to practice all day, all night. You have to put that extra amount of time in. You're going to do whatever you need to do to avoid feeling that way. You're going to know muscle the power somewhere. Your memory is going to recall what it needs to call to overcome that opponent. On the field, in the job, in the classroom, you don't ever want to lose. You want to be the best that you can be. And you're going to do everything you can to feel that way and to be that way. A lot of that suggests to sink in deep, deep, deep into your brain. To the general touch of right now. What do you hate most in life? Linebackers. linebackers. Why do you hate linebackers? They mess things up. What do you enjoy most in life? Winning, goddammit. What do you enjoy most in life? Winning. Why do you enjoy winning? Why? And what do you hate most besides linebackers? Why do you hate losing? Why do it make you feel like shit? Okay. You don't want to ever feel that way again, right? And you're going to do what's never necessary to make sure that your team wins. You're going to be the leader. Now let me tell you something. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Sleep. 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 From this day forward, you will be not only the best athlete at the University of Miami or the best athlete in the state. You're going to be the best athlete in the whole damn country. And everything you work for from this point forward will put you toward that goal. Your goal is to be the number one player that this world has to offer. You're going to study. You're going to learn. You're going to have an open mind. You're going to be receptive.
You're going to be so easy to pick up on scheme. You're going to recognize everything and flow. We're going to be a step it up type of crowd. So we're going to step it up a notch. And look at me. Look at me. Eyes open. Look at me. Eyes open. Look at me. Y'all want to see something fantastic? All right, watch this. What I'm holding in my hand is what's called a sleep gun. This gun sleep, shoots sleep bullets. And whenever I point it at you and shoot you, it's going to knock you right out. You don't believe me? Let's see how it works. I'm pushing the next one. Let's try something. <laughs> I can't save her. It's all right. <laughs> Just us two, of us three. Who should I shoot next? I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm gonna give you the gun and you're gonna shoot me. Alright, just one minute, just one minute, just one minute, just one minute. Alright, point and shoot whatever you want. Did it work, Doc? Try it again. Something wrong with that gun. Look, 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 look down the barrel. I think you got something stuck in the barrel. Look down the barrel, look in the barrel. Not like that. And all of this applause, all of this applause is for you. Now we're gonna try something real fun. Guys, I'm guaranteeing you that you wanna pay me to learn how to do this shit I'm gonna show you right now. And the cost is only $995. Watch this. Something's on stage. Something's on stage. Whenever you hear me, well, this is only for the ladies. Whenever you hear me say the word stage presence, the seat that you're sitting in will be pinching and goosing your behind. It will be so unpleasant and so uncomfortable, you're gonna hop out, out of your seat. But never will you strike anybody because you don't know who's doing it. Even when you walk around and you hear me say the word stage presence, it will still be goosing and pinching you on your ass. To the guys, whenever you hear me say the word stage presence, the zipper on your pants will be talking to you. It will be saying some very obnoxious things about your mother. You're going to check that zipper and let it know you don't play that spool. But never will you strike your zipper because you'll come out of trance in a heartbeat. Ladies, whenever you hear me say the word BAM, you're going to realize you just experienced a mini orgasm. It's going to feel so good, it's going to make your knees buckle. You're not going to know what happened, you're just going to know you experienced something real good. Now, if I say bam, bam, bam in rapid succession, that means you're going to have multiple mini orgasms. And it's going to bring you to your knees. A lot of suggestions sink in, it's absolute truth and total reality. On the count of three, you're going to be wide awake as I talk to the audience. One, two, three, wide awake, sitting up in your seat. Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, 
basically, what you see here is a very, very good group. Everybody's paying attention. And I had to do this only one person back to the audience, only because they were not able to focus and concentrate as well as we want. Because what we look for in a group, we look for people who got what's called stage presence. <laughs> stage presence is so important because without stage presence, they can sit there and go to sleep. They would not be animated. They'll be like, just sitting like knocks on the law. That's why stage presence is so important. Without good stage presence, wait, 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 What's happening? Oh, man. Come on, come on. Something on the seat. Let me try something. Something on the seat. What, what are they doing? What, what, what's happening? My ass. What, what's going to happen? What's happening, dog? Motherfuckers up with all this shit. What's <laughs> up? I don't know, dog. Everybody, we got good stage presence. What? Huh? What is it? Motherfucker talking about my mama. He's talking that shit. Damn. Okay, wait, 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 don't, don't take that now. Don't take that now. Just get down. Get down down. Wait, what's wrong with you, baby? Something about my ass. Something about your ass? Yeah. Okay, okay, well, that'll see. I think I'll straighten it out. Hold on. And what's going on with that, Marlon? Damn, these cheap ass things are just down with rain. What the fuck wrong with these people? Wait, 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 wait. But dog, dog, what you doing? I'm about to call my mama, man. What the hell are you talking about, man? What is that? Call my mama a bitch or some shit, man. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, calm down, calm down. Look. What's happening with you, dog? You know no, don't hit nothing now. Don't hit nothing. Just calm down. Don't hit nothing. Don't hit nothing. Wait a minute, dog. What you digging for? Yeah, he's doing shit, man. What is that? He said she got him now. He's been doing something to my mom. Oh, shit. Look, hold on. What's wrong with you, baby? Somebody grabbed my Oh! Every time you turn around, somebody grabbed this one? I can't catch him. Wow. I don't know how stage present, boy. You got some good stage present up here on this stage. It's, uh, it's incredible. You know what, like I said, with stage presence, like last time we did a show, it was a very good show. Everybody was having a good time. It was like everybody was clapping, and all of a sudden, like, bam! That shit was so good. Oh my God. It was the best show I've been doing a long time. And you know what? It was so damn good, I just had to laugh. Because I was like, bam! How many of us have to you to learn this? Would you pay that $99.95? I bet you will, goddammit. Now imagine, guys, you come home, it's on a Saturday or a Sunday, you watch the football game, your wife or your girlfriend is like, baby, I want to make love, you watch the damn Super Bowl. You say, baby, go in the room, and I'll be in that a minute. She go in the room, put on her necklace, they get all sexy. He didn't know you were going to walk in there and turn this ass out. You walk in there and say, okay, baby, you ready? She said, yeah. You say, bam, bam, bam! And you walk the fuck back out and watch the game and the world not being disturbed. Cause her ass is going to take care of it. Imagine you come home from work and you're hungry, but she want to make love. You better go on the back and get ready. I'll be in a minute. You walk in the room and say, are right, you ready? Oh my God, you walk back out, God damn it, you got breakfast in bed, steak and potatoes, and every day I'm laying else you want. MJ, from this point forward, 
Anytime the eye and eye alone should tap you on your forehead or give you the command to sleep, you're going to need to close your eyes, relax your muscles, and collapse back into as deep a state of sleep you're in right now, even 10 times more deep and relaxed. A lot of suggestions sink in. It's the absolute truth and total reality. Any, from this point forward, you will hear what I tell you to hear, smell what I tell you to smell, feel what I tell you to feel, think what I tell you to think, experience what I tell you to experience, imagine what I tell you to imagine, forget what I tell you to forget, immediately without hesitation. A lot of suggestions sink in. It is your absolute truth and total reality. If you understand what I said, nod your head one time, yes. Very good. Now then, MJ, on the count of three, you're going to be wide awake. When I tell you to go to sleep, you're going to close your eyes and collapse back going 10 times more deeper relaxed than you are right now. And one, two, three, wide awake. Look at me, keep going. As my eyes blink, your eyes gonna close. See. All the way down. Relaxing perfectly, concentrating perfectly, feeling absolutely wonderful in each and every way. Whenever you hear me play this song, I and I alone play this song, You're going to look me in my eyes on a scale of 1 to 10, you're going to think I am a 30. You're going to want to be around me, you're going to be close to me, you're going to do anything you can to try to get my attention. You're not going to be able to contain yourself. I'm going to be the most gorgeous man, the most sexist, the most beautiful guy you've ever seen in your life. You're going to look at me with lust in your eyes and desire in your heart. A lot of suggestions sink in, it's absolute truth and total reality. One, two, three. Why wait? How you feel? Good. Girl, we having a lot of fun. We're learning a lot of new things tonight. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite songs. Tell me what you think about it. Let me know. But my body, my body is telling me, yeah, baby, I Y'all want to me to learn this? Listen to this for a second. Let me show you something. Sorry. Uh, you sure? Yeah. You all right? Uh huh. All right. Um, you sure? My mind's telling me no. Mm -hmm. What you want? I don't know what you want to do. But my body. What are we going to start with? My body is oh, telling okay. me it hurts. Like what? Oh, okay. Baby. Like what? Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Get in the chair. Get in the chair. No. You want to do it right here? Mm-hmm. 
Right now? Mm -hmm. You don't care? Mm -hmm. You that kind of freak for me? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. I turn out like that? This is the extra bonus. Now then. Anytime, anytime that I touch you, MJ, you're gonna feel sexual passion running through your body like never before, like you never experienced. It's gonna drive you completely wild. You told me that you never had an orgasm in your life, but all that's about to change right now. Because any time that you hear me and me alone say the word BAM, you're going to experience a very intense orgasm. It's going to feel so damn good and so intense. It's going to melt you in your seat. You're going to be convulsing. You're going to feel yourself get so wet. You count of three, you're going to be wide awake. And anywhere I touch you, it's going to feel like fire shoot throughout your body. And when I say bam, you're going to scream out in such pleasure as you have the most intense orgasm ever for the first time. One, two, three. Wide awake. You're looking so good. We're having so much fun. How do you feel? You feel good? All right. Tell me what you feel when I do this. Okay. Close your eyes. Sit back and close your eyes. Let me see this. Sit back and close your eyes. Imagine what I'm doing to you. Feel it building? Feel it building? Feel it Driving you crazy? Mm -hmm. Feel the anticipation? Mm -hmm. You sure? Let it build. You're about to get there. You're getting there. You're getting there. Let it build. Yes. Feel yourself riding it. Feel it penetrating. You ready for it? You ready for it? Bam! Yes. Yes. You feel the building? Take it deeper. 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 Bam! Yes. Let me in. Let me in. Spread my part. Spread my part. Pull me in. Pull me in. Bam! Feel yourself. Feel it squirting. All over me. Feel it coming all over me. Yes. All over me. Give me all of it. Is it good? Is it the best? The best ever? Bam! Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, all over me. Uh, Take it. Uh, yes. Give me all that frustration. All of it. All of it. Uh, Ready for another? Uh, one? Got another one? Uh, Bam! Give me another one. Uh, Give me another one. Uh, Tell me how it feels. Uh, Tell me how it feels. You want some more? Uh, yes. You want some more? Uh, you want some more? Uh, you sure? Uh huh. Why don't you hear? Come uh, on, come on. Come on. And, you, ready? you sure you had one enough? Yeah. You want one more? Huh? Yeah. You want one more? You want one more? Mm -hmm. You want to hit it from the back? Here we go. Here we go. Turn it over. Put it up in the air for me. Put it in the air for me. Here we go. You ready? You ready? All right. I'm taking it. I'm putting it in. Give it to me. Stroke me. Stroke me. Stroke me. Stroke me. Stroke me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let it build. And here we go. You ready? You ready? Bam! Oh! 
Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's my girl. Yes, MJ. Yes, MJ. You all right? You all right? You all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You are impressed. Oh, my God. You okay? Uh-huh. I'll catch you, breath. Take a deep breath in. Calm down. Another deep breath in. Go on out. Sleep. All the way down. Relaxing perfectly. Concentrating perfectly. All the way down. Is that worth about $10,000? You better treat Larry right. She's going to wake up and thank me. And five. Wide awake. Mm. How you feel? Phenomenal. <laughs> describe it to me. What do you feel like? Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Do your best. I feel awesome. Like, I'm just, I don't want to go. You ready to go where? <laughs> Everywhere. I have so much to do. Holy sh! Oh my God. You feel creative? I'm so wet. What the fuck? You're wet? What do you mean wet? It's like soaked. You're soaking wet? Your pussy that way? Oh my god, yes. What'd you feel like? Um, like I just had the most amazing sex in my life. Wow. Oh my god. Did you come for the first time? You finally had an orgasm? I think so. What did oh, it feel like? Uh, wow. <laughs> now you know what the orgasm feel like? I guess, yeah. You like that feeling? Mm-hmm. You want to feel it again? And experience it over mm-hmm. and over? Mm-hmm. Wow, that was crazy. You look. I got to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm mm-hmm. glad we had this talk. Yeah, me too. I'm so glad you're a new friend. I'm so glad I met you guys. You guys are awesome. Let me ask you something. Is this your phone? Yeah. All right. Let me show you something. I want to text you something, okay? Okay. Let's see how this works. Um. <clears throat> Come back here. Come here, MJ. Come here for a second. Fly back over to me. My legs are shaking. Your legs are shaking? Yes. Oh, my God. You all right? Uh-huh. Okay, you sure? Uh-huh. What happened? Uh, uh-huh. What happened? I just sent you a text, and all of a sudden, you just went into... Uh-huh. Is that good? Uh-huh. Hey folks, what's up? Roland Martin here on the Tom and the Fantastic Boards Cruise. Uh, we've been having a fabulous time, and I tell you, I went to uh, the session with Lenny Moore, uh, the hip hop hypnotist, and I can tell you it was absolutely crazy. He had these folks scratching themselves, grabbing themselves, falling out, sitting here acting a fool. They had no idea. And you, should, you should have seen their faces when they played the video back. Uh, and they saw what they did on stage. Trust me, it was crazy. And look, my wife a preacher. And so Lenny said, he was going to hypnotize me. She said, you lost your damn mind. 
but he got a preacher to cuss. Uh, that's how it is. But trust me, fantastic show, absolutely hilarious. And again, we enjoyed it, and you definitely got to check it out. Maybe next time you will be hypnotized and maybe fix some of that craziness in your life. And check out the hip hop hypnosis. Hip hop hypnotizing, <coughs> hip hop hypno my grandma not faster. You already know it is, man. Lenny Moore, man. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all check him out, man. He does wonders. He, 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 he fix people. He, he break people that was already fixed. He, 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 he break people that was already broken. Um, so <laughs> y'all let it, y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all check him out, man. Lenny Moore, the hip hop hypnotist. Y'all have him out, man. You know what I'm Check him out.